labs that we want to do to kind of get them to manipulate the information that they're using but I think it's forcing me to think outside the box a little bit in terms of like simulations that I can give them and I think those games are really going to be what you know gets them to use the information uh, without those labs but you know myself and the other science teachers in the middle school are also talking about you know what supplies kids would have at home that we could actually get them to you know maybe do a smaller version of a lab. Each of these is a different allele for a different trait. You're gonna run it with looking at something with a non-adaptive trait. So in this case, my, my environment is yellow. So I'm gonna follow like a blue astrolope and see what happens to that blue astrolope. Natural selection kind of um, naturally turns into evolution. Um, so this is something that we're gonna be building on, you know, whether we're on a computer or in a classroom, it's something that we're gonna be building on for the next couple of months. I'm able to talk to each of the students one-on-one -on -one in a way that I don't really think I get to do in the physical classroom because there are so many people kind of vying for your attention at once. That face-to-face -face time gets you to, you know, ask them kind of higher order thinking questions and get them to think a little more deeply about the material in a way I don't think they would do if they were kind of independently working on a packet or something. Some of the students that I feel like didn't uh, participate as much in like physical school, maybe they feel more comfortable being able to kind of like put an exclamation point in the chat and say that they have something to say. Um, maybe there's a little bit less kind of, you know, high stakes, you know, raising your hand and saying you have an answer. When I come into the, you know, virtual classroom, whether it be advisory or, you know, one of my science classes, there are a bunch of students that get there early just to like talk to each other. So it really just feels, I don't know, that sense of community is still there. And that was kind of my biggest fear with going into the virtual schooling, but it seems like, you know, it's so kind of deeply ingrained in students and teachers that, you know, we're still kind of preserving that.